Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, we have got a Zaku build. Now, Zaku is probably now not my favorite, but one of my top five frames that I really have been enjoying recently. So, Zaku uh, basically has a lot of damage. Uh, all he has to basically the damage kind of scales of the enemy level because of his grasp of Luke, but basically grabs the enemy level weapons, the enemy weapons. And that'll just go obviously by their level. So steel path and all that, you're fine. You don't really have to worry about it. Now, the reason why this was so good is one, Zaku has a lot of damage. Like I said, it just goes off by enemy level because of the weapons grabbing. Also, I decided to put Breach Surge on. Now, if you use Breach Surge, you know on how overpowered Breach Surge can be on a lot of frames. And I decided to put Grasp of Loke on just for more damage because why not have more damage? Because that's just why not have more damage. And then also you're quite tanky as well because when you're on your vast ultimate you have a 75 percent dodge chance so you're going to be dodging a lot of bullets um, and you also have a defense reduction of 87 percent when you use your gaze what you're going to be using a lot so you're going to be very very tanky also going to be doing tons of damage again as you, as you saw by the first couple of clips uh, at the start uh, you do a lot quite a lot of damage so i'm going to go over my build and kind of the synergy of it so for starters, you want to be using a some sort of weapon that can do corrosive and hit multiple targets. So for example, my Kuva Nucor here, or you can also use the Pox. The Pox is also a very good one. So if you don't have the Nucor, the Pox is a very, very good one to use. But if you have the Nucor, I recommend having a build similar to this like that I have. So Hornet Strike for damage, obviously. Uh, Confusion for the electricity, barrel diffusion for multi shot, uh, lethal torrent for more multi shot. Uh, you also get fire rate, but mainly onto multi shot. Pistol present for toxin, so we can get that corrosive. Uh, scores on here, so we can get heat as well, because I believe heat reduces their armor. Uh, it does something to armor. Uh, I might be wrong, put in the comments down below if I am wrong, but I'm pretty sure it, it reduces their armor on how much they have. And then auger packed for damage and pathogen runs for more toxin so another reason why i have auger packed on here is because it means when i'm using this i don't have to use any auger mods and i've recently started using this because if i don't have auger reach for example then i can then just have auger packed on and already i can just shield gate from my pistol so there's there's one thing uh, next, I use Naramon because you don't really need Zenoric. If you want to use Zenoric, you can, but if you have an Arcane Energize, yeah, you should be good. You should be good. But Zenoric is what I did use in the video, but I have been using it a little bit after, and using Naramon was about the same. So, starters, we've got Energy Siphon on here because we want to be having energy, and Energy Siphon is probably the best to have on because we're going to be having like a helios for enemy radar and everything so you find that so here we've got adaptation adaptation is for the damage resistance adaptation is a very good mod that i more or less use on every single frame uh, next we've got overextended for range because you want to have a decent amount of range for your grasp of loke and also for your breach surge uh, we went with blind rage for the strength the, we went with max blind rage this time because we want as much strength as possible because of overextended giving us negative strength uh, fleet and expertise for efficiency now our reason why i went with efficiency is because we want to be using our breach surge a lot we're going to be using our breach surge a lot a lot a lot like unlike your grasp of load uh, uh unlike your grasp of load that can actually get stopped the grasp of load can be stopped when you have your four active or has a 23 second uh duration and obviously when that runs out you can just just basically just use that again like just double tap the same ability or just go back into the same ability and it stops so you don't really need to build for duration that much as you're going to be stop um, you're going to be stopping the duration of of this anyway so you don't really need it but breach surge we you can't stop uh helm of abilities so we, that's why i went with efficiency just so i can use it more often I went with Umber Intensify for more power strength because we want to have as much power strength as possible. And I went with Streamline and Stretch. Uh, stretch for the ability range, obviously, and Streamline for more efficiency because the blind range does make us go down. But yeah, this is kind of the build that was running. Also, Arcane Guardian and Energize. Energize, highly recommend using Energize, but Guardian 
you can have whatever you want if you have something that you prefer then guardian go with it i just like to have the extra armor of 750 extra armor but it is just very very nice because we have 137 at base and obviously the more armor is nice so it reduces the damage to health by 30 percent at 137 so more armor is nice it just helps us survive a little bit on that so that's basically what I was using. If you want to know my dual carers as well, this is a melee that I always use. It's my favorite melee to use. You can get it at MR7. It's really, really easy to build. And in my opinion, I say it's about the same level as a Cronin. It's pro a Cronin probably is better, but if you can't get the Cronin, dual carers is perfect. So starters, we want to go with the simple viral slash. So we've got virulent scourge and also vicious frost on here for the viral. Also, you want to have your viral lower than your slash because your viral is not the one that does the damage it's the slash that does the damage so you want the slash to be proccing as much as possible as more more than the viral so next we've got a ribbon if you don't have a ribbon what you can just simply do is just put on sacrificial steel instead um i believe there is a nerf or something coming where you can't have two attack speed mods on so i am rolling this to try and get rid of that attack speed and still keep it a crit chance but yeah if you don't have a ribbon just simply just put on sacrificial steel instead it's not really too big of a deal uh went with blood rush on here for more crit chance so we can get red crits organ shatter for crit damage so we have a 4.9 crit multiplier well it's just a lot uh condition overload because we're going to be doing a lot of status as we've got our new core for starters that does three status it does radiation heat and corrosive so already that's like 300 summer uh, strength uh, 360 percent extra melee damage uh then we've got weeping wounds for more status uh, Vernal Scourge uh, for the Toxin, like I said earlier, and Prime Reach for the range because I like to have range on my melees. So, yeah, that's basically the build. If you guys have any questions, put in the comment section down below. I always answer my comments all the time. And uh, if you want to come and check me out on Twitch, I stream Monday to Friday about 8 a.m. UK time till about 3 p.m. UK time. Uh, sometimes I stream a little, um, I finish earlier just if I have a video that I have in mind on doing, like today for example. And uh, yeah, that's been it. Hope you guys did enjoy and peace out.